Then we drove up and we found this. Looks like a big digger. Wow. Oh, look at this thing. Oh yeah. Look at the chain up there. It's all it's all just pulleys. L plus K equal forever. Oh, that was something. <laughs> Boy, when you're in there working, all the cables and stuff is going right by your head. Here's the door. No, that's the window. It goes right there. Wow. Someone's taken the uh, teeth out of it. So is it steam or was it electric? Well, I've got to have some. Some it's got some kind of a diesel engine in the back. Yeah, look how this has all been welded and re-welded. Yeah, look at this bucket. This is amazing. Looks like it's broke and rebroke and fixed and refixed. I wonder if these are greasy. Probably not. Nope, they're all clean. No, tight. I wonder when the last time it was when it rained. Look at the look at the window. Yeah. Look at all this steel. I wonder what, what the age of this thing is. I don't see any tags or anything on it. And it just was just parked right here. And it all just spins around. Massive. The tracks are still all intact. Oh. All right, I'm getting in it. Oh yeah, it's got a big diesel engine back here. It's a 29B. A 29B? Yeah. Has a huge engine back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cylinder. Big six cylinder. All right, I'm gonna sit down on this. You wouldn't want to get your tie caught in this thing when you're sitting here running. No, these cables are going right by your head. There's a big flywheel over here with a bunch of cables. You stay down. These pedals, one would make you spin left, one would make you spin right. These levers operate your bucket and your arm. Wow, look at that. Oh, there are little things here. 
I don't want to squeeze anything. I'm looking for the key to start it. <laughs> there isn't a key. It's got huge chain drive for the crack. Say go, no, 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 off. Off. Good girl. Stuff in here. Where's the fan? Does it have a fan? Oh, there wheel. There's a fan up there. Yeah, a big chain for the track drive. Oh, yeah, look at all this stuff. What'd you we see? B29. Oh, 29B right there. Right above my head. The whole thing could spin all the way around 360. I bet it can go all the way around without having to go back. Yeah. I wonder how it transfers power to the tracks from any given direction. Probably just has a shaft coming down and spinning some sort of big differential thing. There's got to be a lot of Weight and grease on that. Twenty nine B. Here's the engine. There's the fan. Yeah, it says twenty nine B over here too. It's like an old oil pickup. Big door over here that opens up to get to the stuff. Sago. Sago. Off of there. I don't want your paws getting greasy, if any. Oh. Come on. Come on. There's those rats and stuff in there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Oh, somebody lost their soul. 29B. The air filter and stuff up there. Air intake. This is truly, a, truly amazing. Oh, so this was the radiator here. That makes sense now that I've seen the inside. This opens up. Oh, no, no. This opens up. Rats and stuff living in there, all kinds of pine cones and pine nuts and stuff. Got two Say go. Come on. Four levers. One lever here. Another lever off to his left. Two levers off to his left. Very cool. I would imagine he'd have, he would have some sort of choke and idle control and everything's all lever operated. This is 
got a spring on it so it pull it back. That is fantastic. Area 51 is about a mile this way. The border. No, no, don't go up there. Come on. Outstanding. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the back of the bucket has to open up to dump out the dirt. I forgot that they did that. Pulls this, pull, this cable goes up, pulls this out like this, which then pulls that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, un... You get that pin Un all the way out. Undoes it. And the bucket would would open. Then you gotta put everything back down so that the, that all locks in place before you get your next load. What a lot of work. Pick up the person that designed this thing. They probably designed it to do a little bit. And then their next model did even more. Their next model did more. And did even more. They kept improving. Look at the skid here. You know, how all this kind of stuff is. Uh, look at the skid. It's all packed with wood. So I guess if if you went down too far, it would stop on this and compress the wood. Because the bucket could go way up. Yeah. Or the bucket can come way up against here. Oh yeah, it sure could. It sure could. You could bring the bucket up here and and travel with it that way or something. Well, I'm gonna get some stills, some still pictures. Got this here.